It is now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for today's event. His resume is unlike any you've ever seen or heard. No, he doesn't have decades of professional experience. In fact, he's barely been alive a decade. But he's sure to impress you. That's right, today's keynote address is being delivered by 10-year-old Talaria Watkins. Some of you may remember Talaria from last year because he led the Pledge of Allegiance at this luncheon. But since then, Talaria has published a book, done a local speaking tour, and is tackling hunger through many of his efforts. And did I mention he's also a scout? I'll let Talaria continue his own introduction. So please welcome Talaria Watkins. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Hi, my name is Talaria Watkins II, and I'm a 10-year-old mushroom farmer, author, speaker, hunger hero, and scout. The scout law is one of the first things I learned when I became a Cub Scout at the age of six years old. I've learned a lot while in scouting. I've learned how to whittle and how to tie a knot. I've also learned the importance of being helpful, one of the 12 points of the scout law. Today I'm going to talk about what it means to me to be helpful. To me, a helpful scout doesn't expect to get a reward when he helps somebody. It means doing a good turn daily, which is something that is very important to me and my family. My story about learning the importance of being helpful goes back to my time as a six-year-old Cub Scout. Yeah, that's me on the way to my first Cub Scout meeting. My family had no idea how much our lives would change after my first Cub Scout meeting. I don't remember everything about the meeting, but I remember seeing friends from school and making new friends. I remember going outside to plant catgrass and basil with my new Cub Scout buddies. My parents used my love of watching my plants grow to encourage me to do my homework. So I would run off the bus, finish my homework, and check on my plants. We harvested the basil and used it on a pizza. It was delicious. I loved growing something and eating it. Then winter came, and my parents wanted to know what we could do in the winter time. I think they just wanted me to keep doing my homework. I told my parents that we could grow mushrooms because mushrooms can grow in the dark. My parents didn't know anything about mushrooms. Since they both have a science background, they decided to get a kit because everything's easier with a kit. So they found a mushroom kit from a company in California called Back to the Roots. I actually became their junior and brand ambassador. The founders, Alex and Nick, are my mentors now, and they even invited me to California to talk on a panel with them last year. Watching the mushrooms grow out of a box was amazing. Once the mushrooms started the pin, it looks like tiny buttons. It doubles in size every day. We were all amazed at how it grew, and then we harvested the mushrooms, and my mom made a delicious stir fry with the oyster mushrooms. Again, I was amazed that something I grew tasted so good. We decided to buy more kits. We grew white button, portobellas, and shiitake, and we tried to grow lion's mane, but that didn't work out so well. We decided not to grow any more white button and portobellas because they used manure, sterilized manure. My mom didn't want that in the house, but we love the shiitake and oyster mushrooms. The shiitake grow in sawdust and the oyster mushrooms grow in straw. We grew too many mushrooms to eat, so we decided to sell them at farmer's markets. But we found out that we needed insurance and all that stuff, so we decided to make it a small business. We needed a name, so since I was a tiger scout, we came up with the name Tiger Mushroom Farms. I think it's a pretty cool name. What do you think? Well, a lot of people at the farmer's market loved my story. 
They encouraged my parents to share my story with local magazines, publications, and TV stations. When I was seven years old, we contacted the Ellen and Steve Harvey show. The Steve Harvey producers called and I did a Skype interview with a producer, and they loved my story. Everyone always asked, what was Steve Harvey like? He was very tall and very funny. After the show aired, I found out that my story was inspiring kids and adults. It felt really good to inspire people to dream big. Now back to our Scout Law Helpful. At the farmer's market, I met all kinds of people. It's really fun meeting new people and hearing their mushroom story. Everybody has a mushroom story. I also saw that some people use coupons instead of cash or credit cards. My parents explained to me that some people needed help buying food for their families. I want to do something about it. So I, blah, blah, blah. my parents explained to me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Some people need, oh, blah, blah, blah. I want to do something about it, and I connected with an organization called Katie's Crops. Katie's Crops is an organization that is fighting against hunger. Katie encourages kids to grow gardens and donate their produce to local food banks. My sister and I received a grant from Katie's Crops for $500. We built raised garden beds and donated our produce to local food banks. We're hoping to make more donations this spring and summer. That helped a little bit, but I wanted to do more. Did you know that one in six kids in America face hunger? I wanted to do something about it, so I became a hunger hero with No Kid Hungry. No Kid Hungry is an organization that is fighting to end childhood hunger. I have personally donated and held a fundraiser to raise money and awareness for No Kid Hungry. I hosted a Friendsgiving this past November and raised $500 for No Kid Hungry. That helped, but I wanted to do more. I met chefs from Local Matters at the farmer's market and learned that one of their missions is to increase access to healthy foods in our community. I have volunteered to be a shopper for their healthy cooking classes, and this year I'm on their Harvest Ball committee. Their Harvest Ball is their biggest fundraiser. That helped too, but it wasn't enough. I want to do more. 40% of America's food is wasted. That food can feed so many people. Recently, I joined Food Rescue U.S. Food Rescue is an organization in that finds restaurants that want to donate their unsold food to local food banks. People like me volunteer to drive. Well, my dad drives, and I pick up the food from the restaurants and take it to local food pantries. I have made over 15 rescues and saved over 1,000 meals. I learned that even though I'm a kid, I can help. You can help too. Being helpful isn't just for scouts, it's for everyone. It's a decision we all make every day. For scouts, it means doing a good turn daily. That can be through a food drive, picking up litter in your neighborhood, or ringing the doorbell for the Salvation Army during the holidays. Scouts just like me are out in our community doing good things to make our world a better place. Just think what that could mean if we all did something helpful every day. I was asked to give a speech here today and share with you my scouting story and the impact it has had on my life. Just think, I might not be a mushroom farmer if I hadn't been a scout. And with all my TV appearances, I must be one of the most famous kids you've ever met. I'll be signing autographs later. <laughs> but seriously, I hope I have inspired you to create your own story and impact someone else's life. You can do that today by supporting scouting. And for that, I thank you.